um, the basketball program. Something that came up last year, come up again. Just talk about the proposal that Coach McKay made. Yeah, for the last couple of years, uh, we've been looking at a proposal to bring more teams out of the districts to come to the state championship. And uh, so our schools, uh, in particular our basketball coach, has been very passionate about uh, changing our current policy. And so uh, we, through our executive committee and legislative council, we've uh, been debating changes now for two years. And so this district brought a proposal again, and so we'll see we'll see how that goes throughout the rest of the state. Yeah, that'll be in October. They'll vote on it. Do they? How many times do they have to vote? Is it it's a, it's, it, we have a great process. Uh, that it comes up as a first time proposal. That will happen in October at our first meeting, and then again in February. That if it does pass in the October vote, it'll come up again in February uh, to be voted on again. If it passes then, it'll, it will go into effect for the next year. Maybe a controversial proposal with the, with the whole private school, public school uh, thing. What are your initial thoughts on that, and what kind of process would this be like, you think? Well, I, as I said, you know, we uh, th those schools are member schools for us uh, at this time, and we're going to always support our member schools. And uh, I mentioned that we have um, 14 out of 265 high schools. We have 14 parochial private schools total. And so uh, looking back, six of those back in the uh, time of integration back in 1970 were already in the association stayed in the association and been members uh, of, and, and uh, abiding by the rules of the guidelines of our association now for over 40 years. So, uh, you know, that we'll see again that proposal passed this district and uh, we'll see how, how that proposal will uh, come to